Mr. President, today we celebrate the 100th birthday of a true hero of the United States Senate, uh, of the United States Senate, former Senator James Buckley. Born in 1923, James L. Buckley was raised in rural Connecticut. He went to college at Yale and graduated from Yale with a degree in English. After enlisting in the Navy, he served in World War II, where he fought, fought in the battles of Leyte, Lingayen Gulf, and in Okinawa. Senator Buckley was discharged in 1946 with the rank of lieutenant and received his law degree from Yale in 1949. After working for a number of years in the private sector, James was elected to the United States Senate in 1970 as the candidate of New York's Conservative Party, becoming the only candidate in the history of that state to win a major party election running against both a Republican and a Democrat. In fact, Senator Buckley was the first and only third party candidate to be elected to the U.S. Senate in the 20th century. During his tenure, he championed many conservative causes, but in particular, he was a pioneer in the early pro-life movement following the Supreme Court's decision in Roe versus Wade in 1973. Senator Buckley proposed and fought for a human life amendment, which would have recognized embryos as persons uh, for purposes of uh, that term's use in the 14th Amendment. Along with the late Senator Jesse Helms, Buckley was also a key player in passing the Hyde Amendment, named after the late Henry Hyde, which prevents taxpayer dollars from funding elective abortions. Challenging the orthodoxy of his day, uh, the Republican, Senator Buckley, was also one of the Senate's first true environmental conservationists. Nixon established the EPA in 1970, he said. But he added, uh, I actually proposed it during my 68 campaign, close quote. He's responsible for major revisions to the Clean Air Act, which passed in 1977. James Buckley would later serve as an Undersecretary of State for Security Assistance in the Reagan administration in 1981. And then from 1982 to 1985, he served as president of Radio Free Europe, Radio Liberty, which was a contributing force in defeating the Soviet Union in the Cold War. Buckley used radio to deliver raw fact-based news and messages to millions stuck behind the Iron Curtain. And in 1985, President Reagan nominated Buckley to serve on the U.S. Court of Appeals for the District of Columbia Circuit. The Senate confirmed him. And once confirmed to this position, Buckley became the only American to have served in a major position in all three branches of the federal government, as a U.S. Senator, as Under Secretary of State, and then as a judge sitting on the D.C. Circuit. He retired in 2000. My own interactions with James Buckley have helped me understand why he remains a hero to this day, not just in the Senate, but really throughout the United States. I invited him to address the Senate Republican Conference at our steering lunch just a few years ago, in which he provided observations that were timely, relevant, compelling, and delivered with incredible enthusiasm. On each occasion when I've met Senator Buckley, he's always struck me as someone who is friendly, who's kind, who's thoughtful and considerate, and who deeply loves his country and is willing to work hard to make it a better place. Today, Mr. Buckley is the oldest living former U.S. Senator, and to this day, he remains an advocate for constitutional government, for federalism, separation of powers, and for conservatism at large. In his 2015 book, Saving Congress from Itself, Emancipating the States and Empowering Their People, Mr. Buckley wrote, quote, Congress's current dysfunction is rooted in its assumption over the years of more responsibilities than it can handle. Its members now live in a treadmill existence that no longer allows them time to study, learn, and think things through. Instead, they substitute political reflex for thought." Close quote. The Senate would serve America well by heeding Mr. Buckley's words. James Buckley's commitment to service, whether on the battlefield 
in these halls in Congress or in the courtroom is a reminder of the power, joy, and honor of being an American. On this, his 100th birthday, the Senate recognizes and pays tribute to our former colleague, Senator James L. Buckley, and his important legacy. Thank you, Mr. President.